Hi there, Mark Zeg here, and uh, I wanted to show you uh, my Commodore 16 retro machine. Uh, I, I had a, a Commodore C16 which was not working, and I've used the uh, the uh, the keyboard and the shell, the case, as a case for the uh, for the Raspberry Pi to uh, to run retro games. Let's go take a look. Okay, here we have a Kira. V2. Um, this is also by individual computers, by the way. And uh, yeah, I'm, I've, I've hooked up uh, a C16 keyboard and a Raspberry Pi with a USB power plug, uh, USB uh, hub, I mean. And uh, yeah, this is going to uh, become my C16 retro gaming system. The uh, Commodore 16 case. Uh, there's two joystick ports that are provided by the Kia, uh, the Kira, but also need to be supported by the OS running on the Pi, and I have yet to uh, configure those. Uh, this is actually the uh, the power plug, the USB power plug that comes out of the cartridge <laughs> slot, uh, because that is um, connected to the Raspberry Pi over the hub. The hub is in, inside here. And the Raspberry Pi is residing there, and uh, yeah, there's a bunch of wires coming out of uh, what used to be the RF. What is it? The cassette port. Uh, the C16 has a cassette port. The C16 doesn't have a user port. So, um, power cable, uh, USB controller for this, and uh, wires, uh, composite video wires. So it's it's basically a complete retro system, and it's a joy to see this boot up in. Uh, in, uh, in Vice, for example, and uh, try to play that. So I'm going to hook it up to my TV. Oh yeah, and this is something that I still need for my uh, for my uh, C16 or C16, my my new my new uh, remake. But uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's uh, stop and uh, see if I can hook it up uh, on this uh, on this monitor. Okay, so I powered it on. The power line is burning. Uh, the joystick has been plugged in. The Raspberry Pi is booting up. Emulation station. Yes, and this is also uh, powered up. So, uh, so yeah. I I need to configure emulation station to use these two ports because that would be awesome to use it with uh, a regular nine pin. Uh, old-fashioned Atari joystick but for now I'm just using this uh, Logitech and uh, yeah it's all coming out of that uh, so yeah just a bunch of wires and, and this yeah I really would love to be able to root it inside but that's that's not possible and I thought it would be nice just to keep the hub and all the the stuff inside so you have uh, a power lead going to the um, going to the uh, uh, AC adapter and uh, three leads going to the TV. And uh, yeah, you can select you can select the uh, the systems ports, Neo Geo, MSX, Mega Drive, Main, Macintosh, Commodore. Now. <laughs> That is cool, isn't it? Now this is, of course is loading forever. Let me see. Go back to reset, reset, reset. Okay, I just <laughs> I just needed to use the keyboard, but uh, yeah, ten print. Hello, world. Go to ten. So basically, this 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 becomes, and I'm not sure if I can run stop it. No. So the key mapping is, is not correct yet, because I want to be able to press run stop. 
for this to stop. But yeah, with Vice and this keyboard um, and a Raspberry Pi within, you ha you can actually make this into a well a Commodore compatible system, which is actually quite nice. So yeah, and basically, of course, it does all the other Raspberry Pi things. I got a whole stack of them over there. So uh, so yeah. Of course, the system is also capable of running Lynx. <laughs> this almost could have been from a Commodore 64, if you look at the blockiness. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah. Uh, Pretty cool system. Um, put it over there uh, so it sits on that television. Uh, yeah, great way to go, and um, <laughs> yeah, just a, a nice way to use the old uh, C16 case and the keyboard in combination with uh, one of my many Raspberry Pis. I'm a big fan of the systems. Mark signing off, and I'll be back with another video soon. Mm.